Phil has spent I don't know how many hours assisting me this weekend and uh, we've been talking about the issues with regards to our production. We've only been getting 8.1 lights made a day on average and um, there's been a few suggestions that have come out of it and this is part of the implementation of just changing the swarf bin just briefly just to show the difference in um, the processing because in that large bin there was probably about 200, 250 parts. Um, so by reducing the bin size we obviously um, processing less uh, processing parts more often um, so hopefully this is going to help a lot um, but yeah we're looking at different options as to what we can do we kind of want to stick with the existing swarf bin but we'll see what we can play with so one of my two second improvements is to do with this now this thing as you can imagine is quite heavy on one end and uh, makes photographing an absolute nightmare because of the height and uh, trying to get it to balance so what I've done is this little thing. As you can see, I've uh, all I've done is put fish wire in between these two boxes, screwed it on, and then added weight into both, and it just balances. So yeah, and that'll come out lovely on the photographs. So, job done. While I'm still testing the power supply on here, I've put up a spare set of power supplies just so that we can at least utilise what we've got here. Added a sockets and pins reserve and there's sealed cam bands so they have to be scanned etc before they're actually pulled to get the product underneath. So my two second improvement is this little clicker. Simple but it'll help keep the boys on track with the parts they've made and uh, yeah, could we have an iPad down there? But obviously with liquids running about, something like this, cheap and easy, not too much of a risk. There you go. Max made a new anodized parts tray for Glegarts. On some visualization of number of lights we produced. So over, over the last 120 days, you can see that the uh, number of lights we've been producing on average is pretty paltry. Um, so if that line there is 10, um, this is somewhere between seven and eight. Um, just about dipping just above 10 to 15 um, a day uh, about a week and a half ago, two weeks ago. Um, we can see there and then dipping again. Uh, where do we go? If I highlight over that, you can see that on one particular day we've got 71 done, but it's all a bit all over the place. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, it's just something to something for us to look at and then we've also got a lights today gauge um, to tell us when we're hopefully at the target.